friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and I'm freezing corn. Now some of you will remember me freezing corn last year, but I want to do an update because somebody asked if I would do it again. Now you see this little freezer right here? I bought it at an auction just for freezing corn. So what I'm doing is, I went to a roadside market today, and their sweet corn is about, no, it's $7 a dozen here, because this isn't corn country. So <clears throat> what I did was I asked how much for a bag, and in one of these, I'll show you the empty one, in one of these bags it holds five dozen corn, and I got... Now, if you were to pay for them individually by the dozen, it would be $7 times 5. It would be $35. I got two bags for $40. And all I'm doing now, and, and like I said, it went so well last year that I got this freezer just for corn. Because there's really going to be no room in our freezer once butchering's done. Now, all I'm doing is I'm taking this cob of corn, and I'm... Just breaking the bottom off. I'm cutting off the silk and the extra leaves that are just hanging. You want to leave this as wrapped as possible because that's what keeps the corn fresh. Nature's own packaging. So there it is and then I into the box it goes until I'm done. If I'm lucky, if I'm lucky, both bags, uh, I believe it's 120 cobs of corn, will fit in that freezer just so we'll be back when uh, I'm done and there it is folks and I'm telling you if I hadn't taken the silks off and the lower stalks and out some of the outer leaves this would not have fit in the freezer but it is chock full I only lost one cob that was open and had a little bit of mold on it but I'm gonna take that out to the chickens and shall we go out to the barn and see if the goats want this? I have a feeling they're going to love it. All right, let's give some to... Okay, take that out to Ditto. Ditto's way out in the paddock in his old pen, guys. Why? Because that door no longer has a window in it. He's just gotten really aggressive, so Papa's going to take some of that out to him. Oh, it's coming. Oh, Periwinkle. What has mommy got? Oh, nums. Oh, nums. And I gave the cob, the uh, broke up cob of corn to the... Where's your... Where's your bowl? Here. Here you go. Here you go. It's a little dark in here, but Papa hasn't put the lights in yet. Oh, my goodness. I'll dump this box in. Oh my goodness! Yeah, you're bad! So folks, they get hay every day. Oh my goodness. Hi sweetie. They get hay every day and they get oats every day. But just because they don't go outside, look at the winter coat spice is getting, eh? They're going to go outside uh, she gets shaggy. Yeah, she's getting shaggy. They'll be going out for a little bit before before winter. Before winter, they'll get some time inside. As soon as I get the paddocks buttoned up and cleaned. Yeah. Is that good, Dams? My goodness. What a treat, eh? Perry Winkle's enjoying hers. Yes, she is. Oh, man, I think she's pregnant. It's a good thing this barn's going to be in, is insulated and it is going to be heated this year because I think she's pregnant. I think so. This is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, what beats corn on the cob in the summer? A platter full of corn on the cob at Christmas dinner or Thanksgiving or any time in the winter. Take care. God bless.